Uh, today I'm going to uh, go through with you how to uh, upgrade uh, Bookworm uh, uh, ISO. So th I noticed uh, uh, a couple days ago that uh, uh, Bookworm uh, Pup 64 uh, 10.03 has come out and I have been using a uh, 10.02 for a while so and I find that uh, this is a uh, excellent uh, distribution so I downloaded it and then uh, what I'm hopeful is to go ahead and show you how to uh, uh, upgrade uh, the ISO in uh, of the bookworm let me just give you overall view of my own setup so this is my daily driver uh, along with a uh, FOSA uh, Fossa Pup 64 CE4. So um, I boot uh, from my SD card, and then because of uh, uh, because once it, this gets loaded into RAM, it is very fast. So it doesn't really access the uh, uh, at the SD card. But I also have it set up so the uh, save folder actually gets uh, loaded up uh, into a internal hard drive, NVMe drive. So this is very fast because save folder uh, does not get loaded into RAM. So let me just show you where my save folder is. It's right here. And the DPUP save is what uh, the name of the save folder is for the bookworm. So right now this is a uh, save folder for uh, 10.02 and normally I also use FOSA pub uh, 64 so uh, CE4 I should say. So um, we can just take a brief look at the uh, uh, grub. Uh, so my, my uh, BIOS is a UEFI, a 64-bit UEFI. So um, I have it in the grub folder and we can just take a, a brief look at the grub. So grub, I've shortened the name to uh, bookworm uh, 10.02 to uh, BW12 and once we go ahead and upgrade, it's, it's, uh, we're going to change that to a 13. So and then I also can uh, boot into uh, CE4, it's FOSA pub CE4. So I renamed it to us uh, CE4. So I think the, that's the overall view. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, go ahead and look for the uh, ISO that I just downloaded. So we'll go to here and then we'll go to I have it in uh, ISO folder. So uh, this is what's running now and this is what we'll go ahead and upgrade to. What we'll do now is go ahead and open up the uh, uh, latest uh, new ISO. So we'll just left a uh, mouse click and you want to mount this image. Yes, we want to mount it so we can see what's inside. So we can see the uh, inside the newest ISO here. Now next thing what we'll do is we're going to take uh, open up the uh, uh, SD card where the uh, bookworm uh, 12 uh, right now is uh, is inserted. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And then you can see that, that there is some similarity. What we need to do is we want to wipe out this uh, S, uh, files here, most of them, and then also replace it with a newest ISO uh, uh, folder. So uh, what we'll do with the uh, older uh, 1002 is we'll go ahead and uh, grab all of it, uh, but we wanna uh, say we wanna not delete the save specs if you have the save specs in your uh, own folder. So I believe that has to do with the uh, uh, with where you're going to have save folders. So we got we want to have the save folder in the same place here in the internal hard drive partition. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and wipe out this we'll just go ahead and delete it. So now 1002 uh is been uh, deleted. 
be but because it's all in the RAM, it uh, we it's not it doesn't crash. So now next thing is we wanna get into the 1003 uh, ISO and then just copy SFS for all the SFS files. And then you also want to grab two more init rd and the main kernel which is vm lens. So we'll just go ahead and drag all this over and then copy it. So now you actually have a new uh, updated version here. Okay. We'll close and we don't need this anymore. We'll go ahead and close on you. Now, if you just reboot, as I uh, uh, suggested, uh, 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 that it will not work uh, because I had forgotten uh, one more step. Uh, so, what you need to do, uh, I'm actually on uh, 10.03 right now, so let me just show you. Uh, we can just go ahead and uh, look at the Neil Fetch. Now it is actually uh, Book One Pups uh, 10.03 which is what we wanted. And you can see that it's using my uh, older uh, save folder uh, except that I do need to uh, r get rid of the uh, parcel uh, parcelite uh, which I don't use and then Gatorade here and also uh, we'll get rid of Conky but uh, but the step that uh, what you should do is after you um, go ahead and uh, follow the steps is the, the step that uh, I would uh, recommend is to go ahead and go to a frugal pup uh, installer here okay so frugal pup installer what you need to do is go to go to the frugal pup here and then the other, uh, just uh, get into the settings first and make sure that this uh, separate uh, location is uh, is uh, ticked on and use autosave, that's all fine. And then what you need to do, we already have the two puppies, uh, mainly CE f CE4 and uh, updated uh, 1003. So what you need to do is just go ahead and go to the boot. And then where we have the uh, puppies is right here. So SDF2. So we'll just get this over here. SDF2. So, S so select the partition co uh, containing uh, puppy frugal. So that's uh, right here, SDF2. So we'll say OK. And it's going to recognize there's two, uh, two different uh, puppy ISO, which is correct. And then we want to get a uh, so we were okay. So we are now it's looking for gr a grub. So we have a grub right here, SDF one, which is SD card. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, click. And then uh, my case is just UEFI sixty four bit. So I'll just go ahead and click on that and. I'll okay and let it go ahead and um, um, make up the uh, new grub file so we'll just go ahead and okay and we'll exit it exit it exit and then we'll just go close everything and then what we can do is go ahead and take a look at the uh, new newly created grub and open up and then And then what I had done is uh, uh, this for me. I only need a couple of seconds for timeout, and we want the default, which will be uh, BW13 here. We'll just change the name BW13, and then everything else is all okay. And then down here, the second menu entry, we'll change it to uh, CE4. Uh, get rid of six and then uh, save and then that is indeed the last step and then you can actually reboot and then you end up with this screen 
so it's actually using the old uh, uh, save folder as I mentioned so to get rid of this conky which I prefer not to have and all my uh, keyboard uh, is all intact because a save folder same save folder is being used so we'll go to the startup menu and then we'll get rid of conky uh, start we don't I, I don't have color printing Gatorade is here this I don't need and then we'll get rid of re uh, readme and then this is a little script to start the uh, browser and the uh, rocks and so on so uh, everything else is fine uh, and then we'll go ahead and delete and then uh, further we'll just check the order start button on the config and everything else is fine also to get rid of uh, parcelite uh, I had to uh, uh, go to uh, my note so to to remove the parcelite on boot what I have to just run this uh, command in the terminal so it uh, so it uh, deletes the parcelite uh, uh, desktop from the xdg auto start folder so we'll just go ahead and open up the uh, uh, terminal and just run that command and then after you reboot you're going to end up pretty much with the exact copy of uh, uh, the uh, old uh, all my old configuration but that's uh, updated to the save folder using uh, bookworm 1003 so I hope this is uh, helpful and